A good morning. Many cubbies are here, and um, this is what they're all about. <clears throat> Backstory. Um, in 2022, early in the year, we had a pre-order in which you could get a Mini Banshee, Mini Banshee wide. The spikes came back on those, the production run, sharper than intended. So we opened up a pre-order um, for a Mini Covenant that allowed those of you that had the Mini Banshee to gain access to pre-order a Mini Covenant. We sold those at a discounted rate, kind of like a, a little bit of a makeup for the Mini Banshees having a sharper spike than intended. Fast forward to now, um, they're here, they're done. Mini Cubby sizing, 47.15 by 40, and it rocks in at 56.2 grams. Um, one of the biggest changes we made, the biggest change, and it, we'll talk about it a little more later, but we went to a D size bearing in the Mini um, versus what we had, the full C size bearing in the Mini Banshee and the Mini Banshee Wide. I really think this was a big difference in the play and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Mini Covey, it is, uh, doesn't quite look, you could say, there's an argument for how much it looks like the Covenant, right? And here it is compared to the Covenant. Covenant sizing is 57 by 42.5. Um, the Mini Covey, we did not shrink the diameter down at the same proportions of the width. We kept it wider in that relation. It only, we only dropped the width two and a half millimeters where the diameter dropped a full 10 so it's hard to the, the resemblance is still there but it's like a it's a little bit wider and we had to elongate some of those curves and we did that just because the width helps with the play especially on the mini um, if you get too narrow it just it's not quite as fun in my opinion so I wanted to keep some of the width there and that also helped with how much weight we needed to pack on so you'll see that on the cup side those rims are beefy even though it's only 56.2 grams the um, the weight is packed in there in the rim it has to be for this size of a yo-yo just for size comparison sakes um, you saw what it looks like next to the Covenant. Here's what it looks like next to the Mini Banshee. Uh, as you can see, so the Mini Banshee clocked in at 48 by 39.5, so slightly bigger in diameter and slightly smaller in width. Um, the biggest change, though, obviously, is that bearing. The Mini Covenant on the string, it plays very fast and agile. It has plenty of spin. Stability is very, very good. And I credit most of those things to the D size bearing. It's the first time we have designed anything with a D size bearing that's unresponsive. The respawns use D side bearings, but they are responsive yo yos. And the D size bearing feels great in a mini. I don't love how it feels in full size yo yos, so I was hesitant and didn't use it on the Mini Banshee, Mini Banshee Wide. Um, using it on the prototype of the Mini Covey, I was instantly convinced that that was the way to go for this design. It does not feel heavy when it hits a string. It does not feel heavy at all. Yes, it's a light yo-yo, but when you play the Mini Banshee, that's very similar in specs. It feels heavy, um, and I, I credit that to the C-size bearing. And you do have a lot of weight packed into a small package, and the... D size bearing just kind of allowed the Mini Covenant to play a little bit more like a traditional yo-yo where the Mini Banshee has some of those flaws that you get with smaller yo-yos. You have some stability issues and you have the lower RPMs and you really feel that when you go in to get some of the binds. The Mini Covenant, I'm telling you, this thing after some tricks, yeah, it's still, yes, it's not going to spin as long as the regular Covenant but it handles tricks and then has speed coming back to your hand still and it never wavers in the stability aspect and I credit that to the width in relation a little bit 
but then also just because we use that smaller bearing, um, RPMs are a little bit quicker and it really helps with the play overall. Shape-wise, I love it. Grinds fantastically. The spikes are sharp. Um, they're not as sharp as the Mini Banshee, but they're also shorter. Um, so even though they're sharp, they need to be sharp to be usable, and they are usable. Rejects fine, plays great, look perfect for the uh, chopstick combo this week. Mini Covenant was available with five colors for that pre-order. We had the Blackout, our only solid color. We had the Snozberry, and this is a take on an old colorway. The um, Splash is a little heavier than than um, we would have in, in the past, in a little more royal blue. We're usually a little bit lighter. Uh, the Wash is nice and light. It really goes back and reminds me of the old Super Bowls way back in the day um, with those kind of muted, contrasty colors. Um, we have the Unicorn Fade, which was a big hit from the, the pre-order in 2022, early 2022, so we brought that available for the Mini Covey. Just a nice fade overall. The, the purple into the pink, not exactly a perfect fade, but still does the job that you can definitely tell Unicorn Fade. The Rainbow Galaxy, it is a bit darker on these than some of the prior Rainbow Galaxies, but when you're doing this style anodizing, you never know exactly what you're going to get. They're a little bit darker, but I really do like the the space theme on it and all the different colors you get when you rotate it around in the light. And last but not least, we have the ever popular, ever incredible Berry Storm. Those were the five colors available. Well, that's the Mini Covenant. Thanks for watching.